Day, day, day one, 75 hard, 75 hard part two of 2021. And uh, got a three day free pass. We go on a 24 hour fitness, baby. So hyped. So hyped. I know I'm weird. I love things like fitness. Why did I start 75 hard again? Well, 75 hard is a lifestyle. 75 hard is like, it's not just these five things you have to do. It's, it's, it's life. And Andy Frisella, the dude who invented 75 Hard, and he's the guy who hosts the podcast Real AF. I remember this part, I don't remember exactly which episode, but I think it was the 75 Hard episode, but he was like, once you do 75 Hard, you can never go back to a normal life. Boy, is that true. He was like, because you know what you're capable of. So like, literally for me, I haven't been on 75 Hard for like, I, I don't know, like I think three months maybe, I don't know. And I haven't, and it, it's like this, it's literally like this. It, if I don't work out twice, read 10 pages, drink a gallon of water, and stay on a diet, I literally don't feel good about myself. That sucks. If you really think about it, that is a not fun lifestyle to live. Like, the level of personal success that I have, it, it, it is that. That's my, like, that's my bar. Like, the bar used to be, are you working out every day? Are you eating somewhat healthy? It was never even drinking a gallon of water and reading. That was my bar. Did you go to the gym today? Did you work out? Okay, good. That was actually my bar. Did you work out today? It wasn't even eating healthy. Did you work out today? And did you not go out to eat, wasting your money and eating unhealthy? That was my bar. Now my bar, that was, and, and that was, God, that was like uh, 2017. So that was like four or five years ago, six years ago. It was a long time ago. Now my bar, uh, did you work out twice? Oh my God, did you work out twice? Did you diet really well? And did you read 10 pages? Did you drink a gallon? Dude, I'm holding myself to that standard. So now the demons in my head are saying, oh, you didn't work out twice today. You're soft. Like, you know, I'm going to sleep thinking, damn, I didn't read 10 pages. I didn't drink that gallon. Like I did have that bite of cake or I had that ice cream. Like that's my mind now. That's the demons in my head going, you're a failure. That sucks, bro, for real. But at the same time, I'm more happy to go, now I'm pushing myself to go to the gym, play ball again, and, and get on 75 hard, and just, I feel like I can't live my life normally anymore, it, it's just, it is what it is. Lizzie's Life, season two, episode six, underway, let's get it. All right, I wanna show you guys a couple of things that I do that are super critical in me staying productive. So, the first thing, we got the morning journal. So, literally, this is what I do every single day to start my morning off. And I break it up into sections. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you exactly what I do. So the first thing I do is I always like to write the date and what time I start the day. I don't know why, I just like to do that. Next, I write five things that I'm grateful for. I call it the Grateful Five. I write my daily intention, how I want my, go, my day to go. And then I write three things, the exact same things called the Manifest Three. This is a great way to get your day started. It's a great way to get your mind right. It's a great way to make you feel fulfilled and excited for what's about to happen. The next thing that I do, I have to write my power list. And I got this from Andy Frisella on what was previously called the MF CEO project. It's now called Real AF. So basically, the power list is five critical tasks that you have to complete every single day to win the day. It has to just be things that are related to your career or whatever it is that your goals are. It, it actually doesn't have to be your career. If you're trying to get in better shape, build a business, learn a skill, whatever it is, it's just a great way to practically implement a system so that you can, you know, be more productive. And I would I've been doing that since December 2017. I would attribute the power list to why I was able to learn how to produce my own music. I probably could have learned how to produce my own music without a power list, but having the power list really really helped. Writing things down like watch this YouTube tutorial, practice this YouTube tutorial, attempt to or make beat today, write verse today. And then just like checking them off the list. And the idea is you write five critical tasks and when you're done with those tasks, you write a W on the page. That means you won the day. If you lost, you write an L. Why five? Why not three? Why not seven? Why not 10? Five is a good middle ground number I've learned. If you write three, three's not really that many things and you get three things done pretty fast. If it's 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 things, that's almost too many things you're gonna get burnt out. I've actually gone a ton of days where I did eight things in a row, and I'll tell you what, I got freaking burnt out. Five is a really good number to maintain. I, I've talked to people about the power list and I've heard them say, I'm just gonna start with three. No, the problem is you're too afraid to write that L on the notebook. I don't know why. People are too afraid to accept a loss. Put five, write five things down, and don't do them all and lose. 
That way, at least you'll know why you lost. You're gonna start to realize why you lost. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what an example of my list would look like. So this is a few of my days that I've written on my power list. You can see that I write things that are specific to me. Next to the W's, you can see numbers. I am literally keeping a record for the year, every single day. Even days when I don't write a power list and I decide to take the day off, guess what? I write an L. And I wanna keep track at the end of this year how great of a year. You see I said Saturday and Sunday, I didn't even write a list, I put two L's. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep track, hold yourself accountable. So that's basically how I get my day started. After that, I'll go work out and then come home and eat some breakfast, smash some breakfast really healthy, shower and then I'll get after it. What I wanna do now is I wanna take you into the studio. Let's make some music. I'm in the mood to make some music. I wanna make a beat and uh, I wanna get after it, so let's do that. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I make beats. Now this isn't how I make all of my beats, but this is one method that I use. It's called sampling uh, and I'm going to use Splice to do it. We're gonna do something real smooth. And uh, what I've got here is I have this sample from Splice. It was actually two different sounds. It was a piano and a synth. I'll play you both of those really quick. Smooth piano, right? We love that. And then a little bit of a uh, similar chords, but synth kind of thing. A little bit more energy to it. What I did was I did what's called bounce in place, which is where you combine them together. All you have to do is just highlight your tracks, right click, bounce in place, now it's one. So now they're together, listen. It's both at the same time, the piano and synth. I've chopped them up into littler pieces because I'm gonna sample that. I'm just gonna find a, a, a quick, like a snare or a clap. Four, one, two. Fire, smooth. I'm gonna play my own keys now. vocal chop. Very smooth. One more instrument we should add. We need an 808. 808! 808! That's how you do it, folks. Super easy, super fun, super simple. We use a little bit of sampling. We use a little bit of music theory, some simple drum design. Now, is this beat done? No, no. You still need to arrange the beat. You obviously have to, like, do something that fits with the artist. And in my case, I'm self-producing. I'm gonna write to that. I'm gonna make a song to that, there's no question. But that's how simple it is. It's so simple to start making your own beats. Do it, it's so easy. If you want Splice, click below, download or get Splice. It's eight bucks a month. If you use my referral code, we both win. Arcade, I don't have a referral code, but go get Arcade. That's how I got those sweet vocal samples. Um, yeah, it's super simple. That's $18 a month for Splice and Arcade. You don't need anything else to get started making beats. It's super easy, all right? So thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope you loved it. And if you did, share it with a friend. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.